All right, everyone. So in this one, I'm uh, just discussing uh, resetting ECM link back to stock settings. So uh, like you'd be getting it at your doorstep. Uh, I see this question a lot. I just saw a uh, thread on uh, some tuners today and made me think, well, we, you know, I'll just make a video that I'll probably have people versus having to search and try and figure out how to do it. So uh, search for myself. Um, I saw this section right here that you can do, um, I'm trying to remember what I had actually typed in. I think it was, uh, factory or, or no, I put back, uh, was my title, uh, and V3 hard reset. I tried this one right here, basically where you just cycle the key on and off with the throttle, uh, you know, more than 75 or 72%, I'm sorry, which is, uh, right here must uh, exceed 72%. Uh, I tried it, didn't work for me. Um, i would never tried it that way before anyway. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But uh, the other way to do it, if you go, let's see, I typed in the word stock um, in the knowledge base and on the ECM uh, tuning.com web, uh, website in the wiki. Uh, and I had typed in the word stock, and this is the one that popped up, the V3 uh, configs, uh, or stock settings, V key. Let me see what it was. Hold on. Uh, yeah, V3 configs here, or stock settings. I don't think I did the stock settings, but I got typed on the V3 configs. And scroll down to the bottom here, and you've got your different files here. Uh, this is for the ECU config. Uh, you've got different stock settings here as well for the timing and fuel tables and stuff. Uh, but that's not what we're talking about. We're just going to the stock settings like we got it from the factory. So went to the ECU config data files. Um, so what I'm talking about, pull it back up. We're talking about all these here, which you can't just simply just put back to stock settings such as uh, speed density configuration and so on. So <clears throat> what you do, well, I've got a 2G of course, so uh, let's see, so we'll just go with this one right here. Okay, we will open it up. As you see, I've already I've already tried it. I just want to check, so I'll make sure the video is good to go. And these are all the stock files. Uh, it's just gonna open it up. Everything is as it would be from the factory stock. Uh, stock mass airflow sensor speed density table is back to stock unlike the one that i've created over here you can see the difference here so uh, these are all stock so i'm going to put it back all to the stock tables if you wanted to start out um, the firmware and software is not updated obviously as well uh, like it would be uh, in mine uh, uh, let's see, yeah, you can see the extras here. So then basically all you've got to do once you have that file opened up, copy all to ECU and you're back to stock. Um, direct access, all you got to do here, just to show you, for example, on each one of those, for anybody that doesn't already know, if you've got a table this in bold, um, you just hit the little double arrow up here and you go back. This will show the stock settings right here. This is what's been adjusted. I only just pulled up this one, this slider right here, just to show the difference here, um, to, just so you guys can see what you know what to do there. I just made that one adjustment there. So you'd right click on it, uh, or you can right, right click and toggle to stock values, but we're gonna do reset the stock, and then save all to ECU, continue. And as that goes through, that'll, that'll save the, the changes. Uh, this is one I had stock anyway. Uh, my computer crashed. So I've got a few few different things I've got to uh, change in here anyway. Uh, but that's all you do. You could go to a different one, for example. Um, let's say we could go here. And you could just right click, toggle values. Same thing as up up here, above, double arrow here. But anyway, uh, you just go through. You'd have to go through one at a time. Anything that you would see bold here, uh, you might want to right click toggle the stock values and that's what you would have so and then you can just copy copy you know that one below that one section there and uh put it back to stock but but anyway that's it for this one uh hope that helps out y'all stay tuned just trying to get some more videos going until next time y'all have a good one